I was asked to create a how-to video on how to uh, uh, put a custom ROM on our Tronsmart R68 Android TV box. Uh, Lonix from the Freak Tab forum, he had uh, mo made a mod for our Tronsmart R68 box, except for the problem was that uh, we have the, the guy that asked me, we have the original box that does not have the gigabit Ethernet. So, uh, Linux ROM will not work on our box because our Ethernet will not work, our Wi-Fi not work, will not work, and our remote will not work. So what we have to do, we have to uh, extract two, two of the image files, the kernel image and resource image, off of our uh, ROM that was made for our specific box, which we download from Transmart. So what we first step we need to do, we need to extract those two files. So in order to do that, we open up that Android tool version 235. We go to advanced function. Okay, now we have to get the firmware to unpack. And that particular firmware we're going to get is the R68 files. No, wait a minute. We want the the original version right here. This is the one 100 megabit version. This is not the gigabit. This is download from Transmart. We'll open that. Okay, now we're going to unpack it. Again, we're going to pick all those files out of there. We only need the two, the kernel and the resource. So that's what we're going to do right now. It's starting to unpack right now. It doesn't take long to unpack it. Unpack Android firmware. OK. Stored in the output directory of this tool. We'll close that. There's the output directory. We'll look at that. Voila. OK, here's all our files. This file and that file. Then we need to save those. And we're going to use them when we compile the other, the other mod. So these are the two we need right here, the resource and the kernel. So I'm going to pause this and then we will um, continue on doing Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to create a new folder and let's call this one the original. The original uh, Kernels, K E R N E L and and resource. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to copy the recovery. Copy that. Paste it here. We're going to copy the resource. And we're going to paste it here. Okay, now we're, those two, those are the only two we need that we have to use these for the custom ROM. And this is where the information is stored that's going to give us where our remote will work and our Wi-Fi will work and our Ethernet will work. So we're going to save those. And I will show you again in a minute. Okay, now we're going to run the decompiling tool again. This time we're going to decompile the custom ROM. Go back to the advanced function. And we want to go to... Okay, Zeno ROM. Okay, there's his full image. And that is almost one gig, okay? Open that up. Now we're going to unpack it and get all of those files. And that's what's going to enable us to create a new ROM, updated ROM, for our Transmart R68 with a non-gigabit. Okay, so it's, it's okay. Unpack firmware, okay. Store in the output directory. Okay, so it's done. Okay, now if we look here, there's the output directory. Okay, there's 513. Okay, it just got that one. Got the boot bin. Trust image, 
here's all our resources. Okay, so what we will do now, we will use that information to compile us a new one. So I'll show that and again in just a minute. Okay, now we're going to compile it. Okay, now let's go to that one. Now this time, it goes to the download image. Now what we need to do, we need to give it the proper location for what we've done. Okay, let's start with the parameter file. Now we use the decompiling tool there. Now it said in the output file. Okay, there's the output file. Now we're looking for the parameter. For base parameter, parameter. There it is. Open that. Now we're looking for the U boot. There's the U boot. Trust. There's a trust. Miss. Okay, that must be in the in the image file. Okay, we were looking for the miscellaneous. There it is, right there. Okay. Now we do not want to use a resource kernel because we want to use one we saved. So we're going to go to the boot. Boot image. Okay. And recovery. There's a recovery image. System image. Now this is the big one. This is the 871. Okay. Now the base parameter. We need that one. Base parameter. So we need to go back there was the base parameter. Okay, all these we just extracted from the other ROM. Okay, now what we're lacking now, we need the resource. Now remember we saved that one. So we need to go back to ROMs for Android. Our 68 ROMs. There. Those are the ones we saved from our original ROM. This is the one has got our information on what... Uh, uh, Ethernet adapter, we've got Wi-Fi adapter and remote. Okay, so resource right there. Open. Now go to kernel. And there's the... Oh, wait a minute, excuse me. Not the kernel, yeah. The kernel. Oh, we saved the wrong one. Cancel that. So... I will have to go back and get the right one. I got the wrong one. Okay, so in order to get the no devices found, we need to plug in our micro USB plug into the OTG port. Then we plug in the power. Then we use a little paper clip to insert it into that little tiny hole next to the uh, fiber optic port. Now when I depress that, I can feel a little click and I can hear it. Now press the start button. Mm -hmm. Ah, found one loader device. Okay, now all we need to do now is click run. Recovery is not existed. Stop running. Okay, so we need to replace the recovery. So let's do that. Okay, well, let's try it again. The cover is not existing. Oh, 
Okay, I went back and got the correct uh, device, so let's do it again. Let's click Run. Okay, now if you notice to the right, okay, it's installing each one of these. And when it gets done, we'll go plug it into our TV and wait about 10 to 15, 20 minutes, and we will be back to the new modded ROM. But again, right now it's loading all this data into this uh, R68 TronSmart box. And when we get done, our remote will work, our Ethernet will work, and our Wi-Fi will work. And this is actually one of the easiest boxes that I was able to get into the load into the loader in my computer. Some of the other ones are hairy, but this one was very easy. And again, I probably got or had a, a dozen or so of these boxes, and so I've done a lot of the uh, uh, firmware changing back and forth. But I am no means an expert. I am just passing along a little bit of knowledge that I have. So. It is soon be done in just one minute. But anyway, I won't bore you with the rest of it, but it will finish up and it will be ready to go. So just, that's all we got to do. Hope this works. Let me know if it worked for you.